Hello everyone I hope you all are doing very well welcome to this edition of discussion on the Indian Express dated 31st October 2022 and we bring to you some of the major articles from the newspaper let's begin with our today's discussion from page number 2 GS2 polity and governance our very first article it is entirely on the uh, page number 2 so this is by the administration of the union territory of ladakh department of information and public relations celebrating 3 years of union territory ladakh it talks about the economic growth prosperity and progress so there are different subheadings leap in infrastructure building strengthening primary sector ensuring quality education fitness and sports aiming for healthy ladakh and developing sustainable tourism from this article you have to know about the key initiatives taken after the abrogation of article 370 what is its significance for ladakh and also go through the map of jnk and get to know about the boundary disputes between india china and the boundary disputes between india and pakistan All right. Moving further on page number seven, again from GS two, polity and governance. The article is headlined as Telangana withdraws general consent to CBI. So recently, the Telangana government has withdrawn the general consent given Central Bureau of Investigation to probe the cases in the state. From this article, you have to know what is general consent, what does it mean, and which states have withdrawn consent, and what is the reason behind withdrawing the general consent. Moreover. What does the withdrawal of general consent mean and also where does the CBI currently stand in these particular states all right moving further on page number 7 and 17 from GS3 infrastructure now this article is headlined as Tata Airbus unit make in India make for globe says our prime minister so recently while laying the foundation stone for the Tata Airbus C295 transport aircraft manufacturing project at Vadodara in Gujarat Prime Minister said that the project was big step in direction of making India a defence aerospace manufacturing hub. From this article, you have to know the key facts related to the C two nine five aircraft, and also about the significance of defence and aerospace sectors as important pillars for a self reliant India. Moreover, what is India's potential in the manufacturing sector, and also what are the government initiatives in this particular regard? All right. Moving further on page number twelve. Now, GS three defence sector article is headlined as forging a theatre. This article is written by Mr. Arun Prakash. He says, in creating new joint command structure, the new CDS must proceed with caution. So here, the writer has a different point of view. From this article, you have to know about the role of CDS. and also what are the lingering issues that need to be resolved moreover also know about the creation of new joint command structure moving on on page number 13 from gs2 health sector the article is headlined as getting nutrition wrong now using the food and agriculture organizations food balance sheet could enable the global hunger index to iron out its deficiencies make it more representative for india So this also talks about the National Sample Survey Organization's data. From this article, you have to know about the Global Hunger Index and India's performance in the Global Hunger Index. With this, know about the concerns made by India and the data comparison with the National Family Health Survey five. Moving further on page number fourteen from GS two Indian Polity, the article says CAA doesn't affect citizenship regime. Center tells the top court. Now the Citizenship Amendment Act 2019 is a narrowly tailored piece of legislation that does not affect the existing regime for obtaining Indian citizenship and legal migration on the basis of valid documents and visa and it continues to be permissible from all the countries the union government told the supreme court yesterday now from this article you have to know about the key features of the citizenship amendment act 2019 and also what is the aim of legislation and what are the issues and criticisms surrounding it all right moving further on page number 14 again from gs2 polity and governance the article says government printed 10000 electoral bonds of rupees 1 crore each recently shows the rti replies now from this article you have to know about the electoral bonds key facts like denominations and also who issues the electoral bonds etc also what are the benefits associated and concerns and what is the possible scenario ahead all right moving further again on page number 14 from gs2 indian polity supreme court agrees to hear plea against first amendment to the constitution so recently the supreme court has agreed to examine a pil challenging changes made to the right to freedom of speech and expression by the first amendment to the constitution in 1951 with the petitioner contending that the amendment damages the the basic structure doctrine from this article you have to know about the provision of the first constitutional amendment act of 1951 and also from this article you'll get to know why this has been challenged 
Now from page number 17 GS3 economy sector the article is headlined as how RBI fell behind the curve on containing inflation from this article you have to know what is inflation what are the causes of inflation the types and also know about the inflation target set by the Reserve Bank of India also the RBI tools to control inflation and what could be the possible measures needed to be taken in containing inflation moving on on page number 19 from GS2 international relations the article is headlined as India GCC group likely to start free trade pact negotiations next month. So this article talks about GCC. GCC is a union of 6 countries in Gulf region as we know it is Saudi Arabia, UAE, Qatar, Kuwait, Oman and Bahrain. So recently India and GCC member countries are expected to start negotiations for a free trade agreement and its aim is to boost the economies between two regions. So from this article you have to know about the Gulf Cooperation Council that is GCC and what is the relation between India and the Gulf Cooperation Council Further on what could be the possible benefits of the free trade agreement and also know about the recent India UAE free trade agreement Well with this we call it a wrap of today's edition of headlines of the day the Indian Express I hope you like the video I will see you with some other video till then take care and do stay tuned